Hi guys, so first an update on Abby. We found out that her chemo is going to start next week. She's coming down and having his Skegness enjoying herself. And she's going to have a weaker dose of chemo, so hopefully she can still go to school and do things. So, fingers crossed, we might still be able to do a bit of fishing, but it's basically see how it goes and see how it affects her really. So the aim of this video is I've been lucky enough to buy a couple of Robinson lures. And if you remember, Barry Robinson was the one who did Abby's awareness, Down syndrome and leukemia glider. Um, I say I was lucky enough to buy one because his stock sells out so quick. What he does, he does a batch, puts them on the internet and then you buy them. But like all his stock last time went within two minutes of them going live on his website so I was really lucky to get a couple for myself and the first one I managed to get was the gold leafed glider and the video isn't going to do this justice but the shine and the detail on here is absolutely amazing and as this one is the same as the one I had before and I know how to work it and how it works and the aim is not really to use this one today but to use the other one which I've got which I haven't used yet and that is the mini jerk and again it's absolutely real look just look at the eyes and on that and the profile the detail and the art of it is absolutely amazing and what i like about this is the size it's a nice size and it's quite light so i can use it and these hooks he provides are absolutely sharp as you can see i've already um, hurt myself so if i hook a pike on one of these he ain't gonna get off with these sharp hooks but um, this is the one I want to use and see how it works and try it out. So, got a short session. It's only going to be about two hours, but I'm excited to get this photo about. So, let's go see how it goes. So, I'm going to start off with the little mini jerk, a lovely size and weight. And I haven't fished this corner before, it's usually all overgrown, but for some reason, it's been cleared. So, I can get in, it looks shallow. So, just have a couple of casts here, you never know, I've got to see, try and work out the best way to use this lure. I think little taps on the rod tip is going to be the best, I think, gets it darting from side to side. Straight retrieve, there's a little wobble. I think I'm going to probably use it with small taps on the rod tip. Oh, where did that come from? <laughs> I don't know if that caught in the camera because I was about to look away, but.
time for you and come back for me. Jeez. Oop. Yes. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's come off. If I hook a pike on one of these, he ain't going to get off with these sharp hooks. Superb. Came right from underneath it. Oh, yes, there you go. A new down his side. There'd be a nice one. Look at that. Hole of the loo in his mouth. He wanted that. Yes! Yes. Nice fish. Come on. Spit a second. Fighting well. Yes. Yes. I haven't really got the room to set up the tripod, but another lovely fish came from behind it. I saw his mouth open. There he goes. Superb. Let's get him back. <coughs> Fought really well as well. There he goes. I really enjoyed that little session. To get a fish on the new lure is always a confidence builder. And knowing the time and effort Barry puts into every single one of his lures, it's good to see them doing the job and attracting the pike. And the takes were great, seeing the takes. And once you get used to tapping the rod tip, you can get it working really well and hanging. And that one, he just, he one did it, he just swallowed it really whole. But uh, great lures, highly recommended. And the custom service is great as well, which is what I like about these people that do the handmade stuff and their own little businesses. Unlike the big companies, you've actually got a person, you've got a contact you can speak to and, and talk to about the lures and that. And Barry, whenever I've asked him a question, he's always answered and been really great with me so thanks again Barry and hopefully get some more fish on your liver soon until next time tight lines <laughs>